wonderful chance for me to look into your proud past, to see a mosque that is such a key part of the Lahore community. And I must tell you that I am very glad that Americans are doing their part to support your efforts to restore beautiful historical sites like Mr. Mary Ross. We feel proud, proud to have contributed towards projects like these. America has given $900,000 to help restore sites job this year alone. So I'm partly here because I believe in sustaining and strengthening people to people engagement. And the United States remains committed to supporting these kinds of programs. 1947, how many of you were around in 1947? <laughs> Oh. So 1947, your great founder, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, said, and I quote, if we want to make this great state of Pakistan happy and prosperous, we should wholly and solely concentrate on the well-being of its people, and especially the masses and the poor, unquote. You know Americans believe in that very same thing. It's why our Constitution begins with, quote, we the people. It does not say we the government. It says we the people. People matter. And after more than 235 years of trial and error, we have made some mistakes. And we will be the first to say that we are still learning that democracy takes work, it takes effort, and there's still always a work in progress. But we know democracy is working when people are educated and when they feel free and protected by law. When they are informed and they can become informed voters and responsible and responsive legislators. When there are independent judges and factually responsible journalists. And when they know that governments are accountable to them, the people, and not the other way around. That's why we're so excited for you that Pakistan, for the first time in its history, will be completing an entire term from one civilian government to another. But let me also say I did not come here to give you another